So we've got a day in Bogor and we've met some nice people and we've all decided to just kind of chip in and do a tour up to Kawaratu. It's another crater that's a short distance outside of the city center. It's taken us forever to get here today, to be honest. It's probably about 10.30ish and we left around 7, so yeah, it's a good chunk of time. So it's going to be a two hour jungle hike and then we're going to reach the crater, the queen crater, Kawaratu. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. No! Okay. <laughs> I went I went in the deepest mud. <laughs> don't don't <st> <laughs> So the owner of our hostel said shit that this can be done in flip-flops. We decided not to wear flip-flops. We've got some really good sandals and our guide said that should be good enough, but we'll see. We'll see if we've made the right decision or not. Right off the bat though, like I've stepped in probably like a foot of mud. <laughs> so Kristen's thinking by the end of this that shoes would have been a better decision. I'm sticking with the idea that like our really good sandals are the best decision. But yeah, we'll let you know how it goes and what we decide is the best. Wash off my foot, my filthy muddy foot. Starts to get a little bit tighter here. This smells so bad, oh my god. Yeah. Did you step on this one? Uh, no, I went to the side for the next one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think sandals are winning here. Uh, yeah, maybe. So far the hike is really, really nice. It's really quiet, really peaceful. There's no other tourists, there's no garbage. And, you know, just also expect to get whatever footwear you're wearing incredibly wet. You do have to cross through a couple streams, not too deep yet, I don't know what's ahead. And some really muddy areas, but we're with a good group of people and the guide's really nice. Yeah. So the first sign that we're getting close really is a sulfuric stream. So we must be getting really close now. This is kind of like a fake crater, I guess it's just for like excess gas gets released. Another volcano, kind of like a different, different style. All the volcanoes here just kind of have their own personalities. The smell is not nearly as bad as Kawaijen. There is pretty, pretty rough. Here's okay so far. But I'm sure if you get in the way of one of these clouds here, you're gonna be in trouble. These masks that they gave us are, in my opinion, fucking useless. It's really 
interesting how each volcano has its own personality and just kind of look to it. And this one's really interesting for the fact that, you know, when we did Ijen and some of the other ones, we either weren't on the crater floor or when we were, it was nighttime and you couldn't really see anything. So being here during the daytime, it's really like you're on another planet. So far the gas isn't too, too bad. I'd say it's just more so the steam. The steam can be quite hot. Oh, like now. I need help, I'm short. <laughs> Actually though, I can't get across anything. So after a bit of a look around, we're going to go see something called the Black River. I actually don't know much about this. This is kind of unfolding for me as it is for you. But this black stream or river, my guide is saying that it's a combination of carbon monoxide and sulfur. I don't know if that's true or not, but if someone else watches this and knows, I'm going to read when I get back. It really makes us feel like we're on another planet right now. It's unreal. Absolutely unreal. So time's done here. The gas wasn't really that bad here. There's some spots it was all right, but in true Shea and Kristen fashion, the rain's on the way. It hasn't rained much, but just that little bit has caused everything just to get insanely slippery, but still pretty nice. It's a great temperature. It's not hot at all, just a little bit wet. So our guides told us that if we have our phones on airplane mode, there's less of a chance that we get struck by lightning. <laughs> We're almost back. I hope we make it back before the rain really hits. So after a quick lunch break, We've come to a waterfall. Today's a public holiday though. So there's a lot of local tourists here. So yeah, we're all getting looked at. The girls are wearing their full clothes, which they're not really happy about, but it'll be nice to wash off, even if there are a couple people here. So after a short little dip, we're getting out. It is absolutely freezing. It's the coldest water we've had yet. And it's just so cold. It's clean though. It's like the cleanest, most crystal clear water we've seen so far. I just don't know where it's coming from that makes it so cold. My nipples can cut glass. Our day in and around Kawa Ratu was far more enjoyable than we had first imagined. With the interesting hike through the clean and lush forest, followed by the Martian landscape that is Ratu, this crater was well worth the effort, and to finish the day off with a refreshing waterfall was just the cherry on top. If you guys happen to find yourself in the area, we'd highly recommend adding this trip to your travel plans. 